What? Oh my God, you guys. It's here. I told a bunch of people on my Twitch stream that I was getting the Caraway cookware set. All the, it's like pots and pans and things. And it's finally here. But I didn't tell people what color I was getting. And I was kind of going back and forth of like, what color do I get, whatever. So this is the color I chose. Some of you may be surprised. You're one step closer to cleaner cooking. Okay, now by the way, I just want to mention that I am not technically breaking my no-buy because I had this sent to me, but they did give me a code, which I'm gonna link down below. It's not like a, well, it's like a code or it's like an affiliate link. So if you wanna get these, it's gonna be linked in the description, but they are pricier, kind of like that long lasting, like luxury, I would say. Here's the thing that I love the most about these, okay? The lids come so organized. It's crazy. So they're all organized and you hang this on the back of your cabinet and they all like super, super flat and they take up no space at all. So it comes with this. And I don't know about you, I'm gonna show you in a second what my lids look like right now. It's not pretty. But all right, are you ready to see the color I chose? Oh my God. Wait, let me look at it first. Yeah, you're gonna like it. Oh my God, this is actually 10 times better in person. I got the cream. It's gorgeous. Oh my God, you guys. This color is gorgeous. Let me pull one of these babies out. So it comes with, let me pull it out. It comes with a saute pan. And these like, you can use all of these. Oh my gosh, this is nice. Oh wow, Triv cork trivets. All of these, this is non-stick. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's gorgeous. It looks like a disco ball. Oh, wow. So yeah, these can pre pretty much, you just need these four pans to get you through life, is my understanding. So I got this one, which is the saute pan. It comes with this one, which is the fry pan okay so i'm just a little bit smaller if you're not cooking that much oh these are gorgeous they're just gorgeous okay let me move this over here i don't want to like ruin anything i'm super excited about these two i have to be honest so it comes with a sauce pan guys gorgeous mcgee oh, i'm obsessed with this oh my god it's so beautiful so beautiful, I'm so happy I went with this color. I'm so happy I went with this color. I, I made the right decision that day. They have other good colors, but that's the best one, in my opinion. Okay, then finally it comes with the Dutch oven, which is huge. You can do pasta in this. You can do anything, to potatoes. Um, so yeah, I got all, it comes with all of these, so everything pretty much that you need. Here's the best part. No, wait a minute, here's the best part, you guys. Just wait a minute, just just wait a minute, just please, just wait a minute. It comes with these organizers. This is to me the thing that sells this thing, and that's what's so me. The lid thing and this, because I know that we all have this problem. By the way, these, these magnetize together. I know that all of our drawers look a hot mess. So here's what you do. You're kidding. What's this? Guys. Guys. Are... Really? It's so easy to store. It only takes up this much space. It's perfect. You guys, let me show you something really, really quick. Don't forget this storage right here as well. Let me show you something. Okay. No, let, no, let me show you something. This is what my pots and pans look like. It's a mess. These take up half of this side, so I'm gonna take these out right now and organize them, 
and I'm gonna donate the other stuff because it's really old and it's starting to chip and the like toxic flakes are starting to get into my food. Don't even really need to elaborate any further than that. Look at how much space these take up in here. I bought one of these organizers. It's a you guys, I can't even get them out. It's, it's a nightmare. Oh wow. Oh wow. Ugh, so gorgeous. Okay. All right, let's clean out this area, shall we? Let's take all of this junk out. Here's the before. All right, get a good, just get a good look. Get a good look, please. Here we go, people. which I don't think, um, by the way, it does come with these little hooks. I don't think this is gonna fit on the door, but I think it will fit in here. It does. Yeah. So I'm gonna put it right in here. It actually fits perfectly. So I'm just gonna hold them up a little bit. Oh my God, is that gorgeous. It's so easy. All right guys, here's the after. Um, I think that looks pretty good. How about you? So here's the lids. Look how flat and gorgeous these are. I mean, just sensational. Look at this. So they're super flat like this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. First of all, I just want to say a couple words about these pans. I'm really saying this for me because my last pans I did not take very good care of and I want to take better care of these. So. With these particular pans, you only want to use a little bit of uh, oil and do not use spray oil because it will get everywhere and it's hard to clean off. And then um, also you don't want these to be on high heat. So I guess they retain their heat better than most pans. So you want to cook it like low to medium heat, but they can go in the oven. And then these I'm not going to wash ever in the dishwasher ever like I did my last ones because I ruined them that way. So that affects the longevity of them. So just use like soft dish brush or sponge to clean them and then just let them dry. And that should be good. And then of course, don't use any metal utensils or sharp utensils or anything like that. I always use, and you can get them at the Dollar Tree, but I always use just little silicone utensils. To me, that's the best way to go. And it those are to me like they work the best too. So anyway, there's a whole thing on here, but the thing that's really different is like don't wash them in the dishwasher and don't heat them up too much because they don't need to be heated that much actually. Jarvis, come look at these. The new pots and pans. Whoa, it came with an organizer? It comes with an organizer and look at where the lids are. Where are they? Do you see them? No. They're, stand over oh, here. Stand right here. Oh, I didn't see those. Nice. You can't wow. even see them. They're yeah, so organized. Them. Remember how much room it used to take up? Yeah, those look really nice. So I'm gonna have to go through with you what you have to do because we're not supposed to wash these. What? You don't wash them in the dishwasher. dishwasher. Yeah, you have to hand wash them. Oh. But also you're not supposed to put them on high heat. I think I'm gonna donate the- I'll keep some as a backup. Well, I'm gonna keep some of them, but I'm gonna keep donate- Keep some for like, food that you don't want to ruin the pan. I'll keep some for you to use. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically what it is. It comes with a trivet too, but. So exciting! I'm gonna have to cook something. I'll, I'll do a vlog where I cook something in them. Cause I'm very excited about this. Oh, and you're not supposed to use like spray oil. Yeah, they definitely leave the other ones for me to cook in. But there's not that many rules. <laughs> it's just, honestly, the rules that they have for those are rules for every single cookware item. But anyway, code Boho. All right, so I'm kind of cleaning stuff up, but I just want to show you cause this is related to the kitchen. So I'm gonna try to find more of these little, these ones right here. Um, but I, I've thrifted these little for a dollar. 
Wow. So I, they're the same color, you guys. They're exactly the same color. They're gorgeous. So I'm going to put this one right here, um, over here, and then I'm going to find two more for here because it's obviously like we need those. Like, well, I don't know why there's none on here. <laughs> But okay, whatever. So I'm gonna get more of those. I think there's some at Habitat for Humanity Restore, but I'm gonna put this on there. That's the plan for right now. Cause I keep all my spices in here, as you remember, which love these still. Um, but here's like kind of my plan, all right? So, oh God, this looks gorgeous, you guys. And it just looks so good. Since I have an all white kitchen anyway, it just looks so good. Like it doesn't, it's just, it's so on theme. It's so a part of the aesthetic. I just, anyway. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna keep, you can't even see them, but I'm gonna keep just the old black set just in case. But you can't even see that they're there. My in-laws came over this weekend. They were actually here for a week, an entire week. And you guys, my father-in-law deserves an award for all the things that he did this weekend. I, I can't even believe it. I was so stressed out. I mean, I, I know I was talking about like, oh, I'm so stressed out about my house. I talk about it constantly. He came over this weekend and he fixed every problem that we had. And I feel like, I told my mom even on the phone, I go, I feel like I have my life back because he came over here. Okay, we had all of these trees and sticks and stuff out in the back piled up in a pile. The only thing left of that pile is just this right here, which we're waiting to die and then we're gonna like burn it. He got rid of two huge piles of sticks and trees, whatever. He used the shredder to do that. Oh, and you can't even really see it now, which is actually perfect. He installed this light, okay? He got up on a 22-foot ladder, which we had to go buy, and he installed this mid-century modern light that I bought. You guys, gorgeous. He installed this for us. I mean, seriously, let me turn it on and see if we can see if it's, uh, like, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I love it. The other one was so ugly. It was from the 80s. So he installed that. Um, he went outside. Let me show you over here. He went out here and handpicked every single weed out of our pool area. He cleaned our pool. He trimmed those trees. Fine, I'll just go inside really quick. Because I can't even believe that he did all this stuff. You guys, he trimmed he, every single weed he handpicked on his hands and knees. He trimmed both of these trees, okay, and this is where all like the sticks and stuff came from. He trimmed this bush, which go looks, looks gorgeous right now, by the way, it's a hibiscus. Um, so he trimmed that. These are just the last of the weeds over here, but he cut away, we had all of this overgrowth over here, he cut it away. He cut all the way back, all the way over to here, behind our fence, so he cleaned that. They watered and helped my plants like live again. Um, hand picked all the weeds out of those rocks over there. I will say, by the way, we were we were also working, but I hand picked by myself every single weed that was downstairs um, in the backyard, which was there was actually probably more. <laughs> we were being buried alive in weeds, and every time I looked out there, I felt sick to my stomach. I'm like, there's so many weeds, I don't even know what to do. So I was just kind of letting them grow. He did that. He set up our sprinkler for us. He went into the garage, you guys. Oh, and we have, you know, the mice problem? He went into every single area. We found where the mice are coming from. They were under the dishwasher. <laughs> he went under there, did um, spray. He put steel wool so they can't get through. He closed all the holes, and there was a spot that he found underneath the basement cabinet that he put, like, he closed it off completely. He went under here in our furnace and found a mouse nest that was like older. He moved all of these out. He moved these right here out. And he moved all the stuff over in this area out, cleaned up all the mouse poop. There was like mouse poop. There was mouse poison stuff from the previous owners. Cleaned everything out. I didn't even know you could move these. He moved them out. Cleaned everything out, just like completely changed this place. He, he also installed a new wood top, cleaned this, bleached the floors of our garage and then power washed it and then he organized organized all of my stockpile of stuff hung these shelves over here okay i went out and got the dollar tree stuff organized all of this he organized the entire garage look at all this 
completely, all of this is organized. And he did all of this, this, this whole week. And he did not stop working the entire week. I need to figure out something to do because I'm like majorly in debt of my father-in-law right now. Cleaned the entire garage, organized our tools, our screws, everything. And I feel like there's even more stuff that he did. Oh, and he fixed our toilet. Listen to this. He did with the plumber, okay? The plumber could not do. So he fixed this toilet. This used to be the worst toilet in our house. <laughs> Completely new. And it's powerful. He fixed it. It was running constantly like the other one and the water was super low. He put a new flapper in, new toilet valve, all of that stuff, he did that. He also fixed the other toilet. Um, the only thing we have to replace now is get like a plumber to change the, the line. He cleaned the upstairs and like fixed that toilet. He tightened all the screws on it. You guys, I feel this feels like a brand new house and I feel like I, I can do it now. Like I, I know what to do. I'm gonna be fine. You know what I mean? Like I know a lot of people were commenting on my um, my last vlog and saying like, this is every house, don't worry about it. Even new houses have these problems and you're right. I mean, they're, you're right. These just, I think the first ho year of home ownership is just hard because you're discovering all of these problems. And But I feel like I can manage it. Like I, I just, like I said, I need to get through all four seasons. So then I know what to do. I know who to call now. I know who not to call now. <laughs> so I feel like I've had a 180, like since he's been here. I mean, he is so good at maintaining and just, he's so good at that stuff. So, but yeah, and like the light looks so cool. I love light. I mean, and he installed this light too, which this is still my, my favorite light ever. I love it. And then it also kind of matches the light that I installed. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is probably change out this fan because to something more gorgeous, obviously. And my big, 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 big kitchen project is gonna be getting rid of the butcher block, you guys. I hate that butcher block, I'm sorry. I know it's like kind of cute or whatever. First of all, I didn't install it, so I don't know what kind of juices are stuck in that. It, the wood's very porous, you know? So it's hard to maintain, it's hard to clean, it stains so easily, I'm so sick of it, I hate it. Like, I hate that butcher block, so I wanna get rid of that. I do eventually wanna get new countertops. The countertops we have actually are pretty nice. Like I see a lot of people having problems with like marble and things like that. I mean, the countertops are just older, but like nothing stains them. You don't see stains, you don't see anything. <laughs> they're easy to clean, like I don't know, they're actually not bad. And so I'm, I'm like, I can live with this kitchen for now, but this whole area has gotta be decluttered. Let me tell you, that's gonna be another project I'm probably gonna do. <laughs> All right, well I'm going downstairs now. I'm gonna relax for a little bit. And then I gotta film another video tomorrow. I just realized that it's Amazon Prime Day. And cheese day, so I need to get the video up. So I have to film on Sunday. Poor me. So I'm gonna use the new cookware. It's the same day, but I'm gonna do, look, I just made this in my last vlog, but it's been requested. So let's get out. Dutch of, okay. Gorgeous, gorgeous, so beautiful. Coming over here, my gorgeous pantry. Woo, I just re, um, not redid it, but I never turn this light on, by the way. I should start turning it on. Hallelujah. Um, I did my cereals and stuff. That's the best thing ever, those cereal things, because you can see how much cereal ha you have left, and it keeps it fresher longer. So I really like those. But okay, what do I need in here? I need my. Linguini, and by the way, this can canister is from Amazon. Love Amazon. Okay, and then what else do I need? I need sweet peas, garlic knots, yeah. So I had to like double check, I was editing my vlog, and I had like a moment of terror, sheer terror, because I was like, oh my God, I hope that these are vegan, and they are. So. Garlic knots from Aldi happen to be vegan, which is like the craziest turn of events in 2022. So you guys have seen this a million times, I know. I should know it by heart, but I don't. I should make something else from this recipe, from this cookbook. There's nothing like picking it fresh off the vine. <laughs> the one thing that I kind of wished I'd said last video, 
that I didn't in this video. First of all, I love my food processor. It's like my best thing I ever got. My parents got me this as like a moving gift when we moved into the fifth apartment that we ever lived in. That's a lot of apartments when you're not that old. But the thing that I did last time was see this little part of the food processor. I put the oil in there and it kind of emulsifies and slowly integrates. It's really nice. So the hard part about being an adult, for me, the hardest part about being an adult and having a job is that I want to play video games all day long. And this week is the RuneScape beach event. Okay. Now you may be wondering what is that? And all I can say is it's basically a once a year event during the summer where I usually take off. In years past, I have taken off the entire month or so that it goes on in the game, and I have not worked. One year, I watched the entire, not entire season, entire Vampire Diaries, seasons one through six. And I didn't, I didn't film one video. All I did was play Summer Beach Event and watch Vampire Diaries. It was a problem, but whatever. But yeah, I pretty much want to be playing that right now. All right, so let's put the peas in. Dude, I have to say, if you want to be full, eat peas. Because these things will fill you up. It's actually crazy. We need a teaspoon, a teaspoon of sea salt, which I just use kosher salt because who cares? I'm sure Ina Garden is like, Hello everyone, it is another day, another Aldi recipe. So this is kind of a vegan version of tuna salad sandwich meets basically kind of like, like potato salad sort of situation. So there's like a couple more things that are not typically in, in tuna salad. So basically I'm gonna be using chickpeas from Aldi. Um, this is the one thing that you can't find at Aldi, but I'm using vegan mayo, so if you're not vegan, they have mayo there, but you might have to go get vegan mayo. That's the only thing. But I'm also using pickles. Doesn't matter the brand. I, I like Clawson personally, but whatever. Um, I, you need some diced red onion. You need yellow mustard, and you just need celery. Okay, so I've got some celery here, and then I am gonna use some sweet butter lettuce. Let's begin, shall we? So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing down here. Um, I'm gonna cut my celery. So, get rid of those. A lot of people keep the leaves, I do not. Um, and then, because I am very lazy, okay, I am going to use my chopper because it's my favorite thing ever. So you would have seen this in my Amazon favorites video, but I hate to chop, like of all things in this world, I hate chopping celery the most, dicing it up, it's so awful. So, okay. So there's all of my celery all diced up. I love this thing so much, you guys. It's not funny. I think that Aldi actually sold one at one point. Sometimes you can find this in the Aldi finds section, but all right, then I'm gonna take a pickle and I've been trying to get rid of this whole thing of pickles that I have for a while. So I'm just gonna take this pickle, I'm gonna dice it or cut it in half, I mean. 
and then just chop it up. Okay. So there is that. So simple, so easy. Now what we need to do is I want to drain and rinse the chickpeas. Drain and rinse these. I'm just going to put them in this little bowl. So this is like for just like a serving of not that many people, but I'm going to try to smash these up a little bit. I'm starting to get them pretty good. This is like a good summertime dish too. It's kind of like a little cooling, you know? Nice when it's like refrigerated. There's no cooking involved, no stove, no nothing. Okay, these are actually not that hard to smash together. You just have to press them all the way down against the bottom of the bowl. But I'm gonna leave a couple whole ones for texture, but it does kind of look like tuna, which I actually have never had tuna. I've never had actually any seafood in my entire life. Never tried it, never had a fish, never ever ate seafood. So I actually don't know if this is any, if this is similar. So I'm gonna take just some mayo and then you can always add more if you want to. So I'm only gonna start with about that much. Just, just this whole recipe, you just eyeball everything. Okay, so then I'm gonna add in my celery and my pickle. Okay, the pickle is kind of a wild card, but it gives it a lot of nice tangy, tangy gorgeous, okay? Tangy gorgeous. Then I'm gonna do some of the onion. I'm actually gonna do a good amount. It gives it some of that crunchy, crunchy lunch, okay, the crunch bunch. And then do a bunch of pepper. Okay, do a ton of pepper and you can always add more. I'm just gonna do a little bit of salt, okay? And then another ingredient that I add is, I'm gonna add yellow mustard. A lot of people will do Dijon. You can do spicy brown, doesn't really matter. I like yellow. And once again, that's just for like the tang element, okay? So let's mix it up a little bit. But, oh, I'm excited. I don't know if all these ever had vegan mayo or if they are planning on coming out with it. I mean, they do sell vegan mayo at most stores. Like they sell it at Walmart. Um, Hellman's makes a vegan mayo that's actually pretty good. And it's right next to the regular mayo. Anyway, okay, this is looking pretty good. Okay, we need a lot of pepper for this. In my opinion, you gotta season it well. And we'll just mix that up a little bit more. I love all these kind of dishes with mayo, and I never, I used to hate mayo, like really hate it. And uh, it's just funny how the tables turn. Okay, so, so, all right, let me just do a little taste test here. Make sure it's all good. Hmm, it is good. I'm gonna do a little bit more mustard just for more of that little tang. I probably could have done another pickle, honestly. Um, I guess it's still not too late, but just that tangy, it's to me, the, it's all in the tang. Now, this actually would probably be really good too if I could, if I squeezed a little bit of lemon over it, but I'm trying to save my lemons for another recipe that I'm doing this later this week. And I forgot to buy new lemons. I just went to Aldi today and I forgot lemons, of course. I was actually in the parking lot when I realized and I was so lazy. I'm like, I'm not going back in. Let me taste, let me do a taste test one more time. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do more pepper and do a little bit more salt, but ooh, that's good. All right, let's bring it back down here now. Now we're gonna assemble the dish. This is leftover that my in-laws left at our house, it's just potato bread or whatever. It, or you can make it in your bread maker, all right? So you don't even have to toast it or anything. Um, and then I'm just gonna lay down like a decent amount of the lettuce, just the butter lettuce. You can also do like, you can really do any kind of lettuce that you wanna do. It's really up to you. Choose your journey. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a deso amount on. 
This is probably good to serve like two, three people. I would say, depending on how much you, how generous you are with yourself and others. So let me put, this is nice because, you know, chickpeas are so cheap too. Like all of this stuff is super cheap. Except for the vegan mayo, the vegan mayo is not that cheap, but everything else is very cheap. So, all right, I'm just gonna do a little bit more black pep. So here's what it looks like. All right, and then I'm just gonna put a top on this and then let's cut this. It's kind of weird, it's like I don't really eat a lot of sandwiches where I don't toast them. I'm sure it would be good toasted too, but all right, here we go. There's the tuna salad, vegan tuna salad sandwich, gorgioso. Let's do a little taste test. Here we go. Yep. It's so good. It's so good, and look how much left I have of the little mixture I made. Oh my gosh. These would be good to make a bunch of these. Throw them in a Ziploc bags. Throw them in the cooler and you can take them to places. A good side that you can do from Aldi would be like the kettle chips or something like that. I feel like that would be really good with this. This would be a good little picnic. Try it out, let me know what you think. I wanna show you another money saving hack that I have and it involves saving on paper towels which is something that I use and abuse. <laughs> or I did in the past, not anymore. Well, I probably still will. But have you ever heard of Swedish dish towels? So I bought these probably two years ago from Anthropology, and they came in a two pack, but you can buy them on Amazon. I've checked before, but they're reusable paper towels basically, or like towels. They're like hard like this, so you can see, and then you just get them wet. So let me wet this one. So then, you just get it wet and then I wring it out really good so then it's kind of like, it's it's a little bit damp, it's barely anything. And then you just clean with it and then clean it off in the sink, it comes right off, it like slides off whatever the grime was and you can clean your countertops with it, anything really. So let me show you. I'm gonna clean off the mess that I made over here. So let me do. Let me do a little spritzy witsies. So it's so simple, so easy. It actually probably works better than like a dry paper towel, but it's nice because it's reusable. I mean, it's like, look, it's like shimmering. And then see, it's like dirty. Yeah. So let me do this side too. Got a couple things over here. I feel like I feel like such a boss whenever I clean like this. I probably should move this, but I'm too lazy right now to do that. So anyway, that's, look at that. Sheesh, that looks like extra clean. So then I'm just gonna take it over here too. Clean off right here. So nice and easy, you guys. And you can actually put these in the top rack of your dishwasher. So let me just wash this off now. And then you just reuse them and they dry pretty quick. So this one honestly is not that dirty. You know, like it's already clean. I don't know what this white spot is. But. So you clean it off. wring it out and then what I do is I just set it over here on my little drying rack which I brought back out so anyway 